what's going through your mind right now? I just, I don't know, I don't know where my kids are. I don't know where Shannon is. It's, it's not something I could ever, ever fathom would happen in my lifetime. And I, I have no inclination of where she is. Yeah. I've re we've reached out to friends, family. Our fa all, both of our families are back in North Carolina. So they're beside themselves. Like we all have friends in North Carolina. We have friends here, we have friends everywhere and not knowing like where she is or where the kids are. It's, I, I, I don't know what to do right now. I just feel so alone in this house right now and I don't know, I don't know where to go from here right now. And you said you had to stay here by yourself last night. I, when I open the door, it's like, you're almost like. I, I mean, my heart's, my heart's racing a mile a minute. I mean, just I, everything that's happening in the last, last few days, it's just, it's, it's earth shattering right now. It's like my world's been turned upside down. Like I have friends that have offered to, to help. I just I didn't feel like I should have left last night. Like just in case, like maybe she came back, maybe the kids came back, maybe something happened, maybe I, there's a knock on the door. I wanted to be here. I didn't think last night was a good time to stay with anybody else. Or, I mean, I'll I'll want I want I want friends to be here with me because that just makes me feel better. And what? How do you think the police have responded so far? Uh, it's, it's been amazing. They've been in constant contact. Frederick Police Department, detectives, officers, sergeants. They have the dogs coming through to get sense. I mean, it's they've been on top of everything, missing persons reports, everything's been, they've been. Do you have any idea where she could be? Um, she said she was going to a friend's house with the kids and that's the last thing I heard and that was, that was it. It was very vague and it was very, I don't have no inclination of where she is. Every friend that I've called that has, has a car seat that has, I mean, that could have come and got her, it's, and you saw her yesterday morning. Yeah, I saw her yesterday morning. She got back from the airport. And I mean, it's, she, she has to be somewhere. I, in my heart, I believe that she is somewhere and I hope that she is safe. Search dog going to your house right now to get a scent. It, a line of police cars. It, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that they're here right now doing everything that they can. It just, it scares the living crap out of me right now just knowing that it's come to this and that she didn't come home last night with the kids. Like, Shanann, Bell, and Celeste, if you're out there, please, I mean, just come home. And you, yesterday, when her friends were calling frantic, you, something in you said, well, she'll just be home. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I, and it wasn't like her not to answer a phone call or a text. And when her friend Nicole showed up at the door, I was just like, all right, something, something's up. And uh, I came home, and it was like I walked into a ghost town. Like, everything... It, she wasn't here. Kids weren't here. It was like, it was just, they were here and then they were gone. Yeah. And did you see the kids in the morning too? Just in the monitor. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you leave really early. Mm -hmm. Come here. Come here.